Bob Came in Pieces is a puzzle game, which is sort of a nebulous term, right? I mean, Picross and Bejeweled are both puzzle games, so what does that even mean? Well, Ludosity's new puzzler is one part Lunar Lander, one part classic adventure game, one part physics building game, and one part Pixar. It sounds like a bit of a jumble, but Bob definitely juggles it well. Meet Bob. He is having a bad day. He's on his way home from the intergalactic call center where he works when disaster strikes, and he winds up on an alien planet with the pieces of his ship lost and scattered across the surface. Thankfully, the ship is still functional, and Bob's a pretty resourceful guy, and the ship itself is very flexible. Finding ship pieces requires navigating the surface of the alien planet, which is filled with all kinds of strange obstacles. Everything from rocks to weights to pulleys to force fields are blocking your way, and in order to get by them, you'll have to use the ship pieces you've collected along the way to turn your ship into the right craft for the task. For instance, this might mean building a long pole onto the top of the ship to push an out-of-reach button, or placing a tractor beam on one of the sides to pull something. Now the building itself isn't all you have to contend with. The game uses a very in-depth physics engine. Build that pole too long or too far to one side and your ship's control will become unbalanced, making it really hard for you to actually hit that switch. Carrying something heavy with your tractor beam will require the right amount of thrust in the right places to make sure you can actually fly with it. And so on. It's all very fantastic contraption. There are 50 parts to find across 14 levels. Now the puzzles are a lot of fun and there's some cool replay value since as you get newer parts you can revisit old levels and solve things you previously couldn't. Something else that adds to the replay value. The game has about 60 achievements if you grab the Steam version, so completionists and OCD sufferers are bound to love that. Bob's not bad to look at either. The world has a very cool cartoony style with some beautiful lighting and great animation. The soundtrack is a nice upbeat ambient score that fits well with the action. Overall, this is a really well done and very original package. It's a nice mix of puzzle, platform, and physics games that comes together in a compelling way. At $9.99, we definitely recommend this one as a buy.